Despite the size of the city of Mountain View, we have two In-N-Out burgers, we have a total wine and spirits for those of you that love wine, a Costco warehouse, we have a Japanese market that we're gonna take a look at in a bit, as well as a Chinese market as well. So there's definitely a lot to see in this city, uh, especially a great place to live. Another wonderful part of Mountain View is that there is a Ranch 99 here in the city. Ranch 99 is a Chinese supermarket. Uh, in Mandarin, it's Da Hua Jiu Jiu. Cantonese is Da Hua Gao Gao. This market has everything you need. So if you run out of that soy sauce, that oyster sauce, the fish sauce, that sriracha that you need when you're cooking, you come here. But there's one hidden gem here that you may not be aware of. They have a bakery that's excellent. They have noodles and they have dim sum around the corner. I'll take you over there. In a hurry for that quick meal that you need. They have a hidden, basically, noodle shop here for about seven to eight dollars. You can get different noodle soups. My favorite is the wonton noodle soup with uh, barbecue pork. You can get duck and different assortments. Now, if you're not craving noodles, you can just head over here and grab some dim sum. We have all different dim sum, grab and go, all ready to go. You can get three items for three dollars. You can't really find a better deal. Well, you can't talk about the Silicon Valley without talking about computers. Right in the center of Mountain View, right off Highway 85 and Shoreline, with the Computer History Museum, where they have computers dating all the way to back to the 1940s and 1950s. The hidden gem here, though, in addition to the museum, are the Tesla charging stations in the back. Let's go get a charge. About as techy and geeky as it gets in the Silicon Valley are Tesla charging stations. This charging station is right behind the Computer History Museum, and there's multiple stations. Now, if you don't own a Tesla, what in the world is a Tesla charging station? Well, basically what it is, is an ability to charge your car basically within an hour from almost zero to full, full charge. There is a limit here, about 40 minutes, so they'll, they'll limit your time generally, but imagine that. I mean, if you're making a long trip to the East Bay or uh, to, to the peninsula, you'll need some, some power. So this is a place where you can get it. Speaking of hidden gems, the Shoreline Golf Links is the definition of hidden. Right behind Google and the Shoreline Amphitheater, this is the municipal golf course, basically, of Mountain View. Now, it's very affordable, 18 holes if you want to play or if you want to take a swing at the driving range at, at your lunch break. Perfect spot, not difficult. The course is, I would say, medium level, uh, beginner to medium level, and you get a discount with your Mountain View ID. For those of you that cycle, the Bay Trail is your friend. Driving, extremely dangerous these days, and a lot of traffic, right? So, and also if you're cycling, you don't want to be on the main roads. The Bay Trail will solve all your problems. The question is, how do you even get on this trail? Well, there's a few entrances to the Bay Trail. Uh, you can get on behind Google off, off Charleston. Uh, you get on at Wisman, um, also Central and, and Moffett, as well as Sleeper Avenue, back by Grant Road. This trail can take you north all the way up to Facebook. Now, I'm not as good a cycler as some of you. It'll take me probably about 45 minutes from Sleeper Avenue, Mountain View, to Facebook, 45 minutes to an hour. So those of you that are in shape probably get there in 30 minutes. I'm here on the headquarters campus of Google. And as you can see, here is a G-Bike where employees get to ride around on campus. Literally right behind me is a Googleplex. The Googleplex is headquarters of Google. Um, where the main buildings are, building 40, 40 to 42. Now, this right here, we can't get in there due to security right now, but it used to be the headquarters of SGI, and now, again, Google has literally taken over Mountain View, and when they started and were established, that's when Mountain View as a city came on the map. With 30,000 plus employees, Google's one of the biggest employers here in Mountain View. Here in the newest theater in Mountain View, the Icon Theater off San Antonio Road and El Camino, Everything's digitized. Talk about living in Silicon Valley. Pick the movie you want to watch, you book it, and then on top of that, you, you can also order, you can pick your times as well. And also, if you want to order food, there's no more person to talk to. You just get back to the main screen, buy your food and drink, make your selections, and you just have to take the receipt over to the counter. We're gonna go upstairs and take a look at this bar and restaurant as well. It sounds really, really exciting. Now, how many theaters do you know have a restaurant in it as well? So they have a full restaurant here at Icon Theater. If you turn this way, we actually have a full bar as well. I never remembered watching movies in this way, but food, you know, drink, all taken care of. I'm going to head into a theater. I want to tell you what the difference is in this seating arrangement. 
Now, reclining leather seats are, are not a new innovation. Century 16 off Shoreline has had this innovation for a while. However, Century 16, at some point, they're probably going to redo that theater once Google uh, they actually have plans for that campus. Now, this theater also has reclining leather seats. But as you can see here, there's a little button here that you can adjust your heated seat level. If that is just as simply amazing. For those of you that fall asleep in movies, it's not a good idea for you. But I will see you after the movie.